Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new vlog. I am kicking off the vlog in Leeds today because I'm up in Leeds to do Steph's packed lunch today. And today is the first day that the non-essential retail shops are opening up here in England. So I'm going to be hitting the high street today with Steph's packed lunch, which is very exciting. So I'll be doing some reporting live from the high street to see what shoppers are up to and see what people have been buying. And I'll be looking out for some bargains myself Myself as well. So it's a beautiful day here. It's sunny, but it's quite cold. So I'll need to make sure I take my coat. But this is what the weather is looking like outside today. As you can see, nice blue skies. But yeah, it is definitely quite nippy out there today. So I'm going to layer up. I've got a shirt on and a t-shirt. I might put another jumper on and then my jacket. I've got this wool coat to wear today. This brown one, this old favourite, H&M. I think it's H&M. Where are you from? Top man, <laughs> top man coat. Um, so yeah, I'm nearly ready. I'm gonna go down to meet the producer shortly and um, have a little practice. Then I'm off into town to do the show. And then I thought I would vlog throughout the week this week. So I'll just share a bit of what I've been up to. I had a week off last week, which was very nice. Well, I say a week off, it was a lot of admin and sorting stuff out and sorting myself out and all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, it was good to have a little break from filming though. And it's nice to be back. It's good to see you all. So I hope you're all doing all right. Let me know how you've been getting on. And thank you so much for all the comments about sort your life out as well. Lots of you have messaged say that you watched the show and that you really enjoyed it and even some of you overseas managed to find it on YouTube I think as well which is brilliant so yeah if you did watch it I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for all the lovely comments about that and a few of you have been asking as well when there will be more and there's going to be more episodes coming in the autumn so yeah I'll share with you of course when those are going to air but that will be later on this year there's going to be six brand new episodes so really looking forward to filming those right i'm going to get my things together because i need to pack to make sure i've got everything that i need to take into the town center with me today because i'll need all my essentials with me because um, i'm not coming back to the hotel until the show's finished so i probably won't get to vlog much throughout the recording of today's show but what i'll do is maybe insert a couple of clips if i can do and then i'll catch up with you later here in Leeds. How are you getting on Mr. C? Hi Steph, yeah I am so excited because the shop doors are back open and Steph I haven't forgotten you, I picked up some bugs. I'm thinking that'd be nice for you Steph, pull it up with your snacks and <laughs> look what else I spied, this scooter, we love a scooter don't we? I'm gonna scoot off now and find us some more bugs for Friday. <laughs> shopping there in the streets. <laughs> and I've just got back to the hotel. That was such a fun show today. So we were out and about on the high street. I got to talk to people. I got to see what they've been buying at the shops. It was brilliant fun and all live as well. So I was on talk back so I could hear the studio in my ear and yeah, it was just really fun and I thoroughly enjoyed it. The sun came out in the end as well. It was absolutely freezing this morning to the point where in the rehearsals my teeth were clicking <laughs> but then the sun came out and now I feel a little bit scorched which is quite a nice feeling actually it's uh, nice that the sun's come out so it's a really nice warm day out there now I'm just going to pack up and then we'll head to the train station and we'll be heading back to London then for the rest of this week I'll be back up here on Friday though so I'll be traveling back up on Thursday evening but yeah I'm going to get packed up now and then it'll be time to head back to London Tell you what, I need to get this coat off, <laughs> you know, and you've just got one too many layers on. And I've got this new jumper on, which I picked up from the River Island sale. I've got a few bits to show you when we get home, actually. Um, I did a little bit of damage on the online sale, so I've got a few new bits. But I've got this jumper, so I thought it'd be quite a um, nice versatile jumper to wear. Um, it's sort of lightweight, but it's got a bit of, um, well, I think it might be synthetic because it made my hair go static. So it's made me rather warm. I was very grateful about this morning, but now, you know, when you just get to that point where you're like, get me out of these clothes. <laughs> I feel like I've got a proper sweat on. I always say that I'm sweating, I do apologise. But yeah, I'm going to get these off because I don't want to travel in these. I feel a bit gross. What I might do is quickly go and wash my face, actually, before we get on the train. And yeah, we get changed. So yeah, pack up and we will be out there. But life is one big riddle Of the future and what's been Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm on I got it I 
remember to bring my travel cutlery with me on this trip, which was very handy when I wanted to have my protein yogurt last night. So I keep this in my bag now. Obviously the shops are now open. So yeah, let me know if any of you have been out to the shops yet. Let me know if you have, how you've got on. I'm gonna try and hold off a little bit. One thing I am looking forward to doing is going to the charity shops though. So I'll be able to do some more donations. I think my new rule for the charity shops is going to be donate a bag and then I can have a browse. What are we thinking? But I'm looking forward to showing you around some of them because it's been a while, hasn't it? I think we've all missed the charity shop. So yeah, sooner or later, I might even do it in this vlog, we'll have a little peek or I might do a full vlog of um, hitting the charity shops. Yeah, but if you have been shopping, let me know how you got on. Let me know if you found any good bargains. Right, I am pretty much packed up now. I'm gonna put my slightly lighter jacket on now that it's nice and hot outside. And yeah, we'll go and get the train. And I've just made it to the train station and picked up some lunch. I've got about half an hour before my train, so I've grabbed a little sandwich. I have gone for a prepped chicken and avocado. I've got myself a little latte as well. So yeah, I'm gonna have my lunch now. And then, how long have we got? I've actually got 45 minutes. So I'll probably stay here and do a bit of work before getting the train back. And I've made it back home. It's nice to be back. I just thought I'd quickly show you this area here because I've switched it up a little bit and I put the cheese plant that was in the kitchen in a pot in the corner here and I've shuffled things around a bit. So yeah, that's the situation after the Easter decorations were put away. Let me just show you it. So this is how it's looking and yeah, I just thought it looked quite nice and simple. So I just thought I'd show you that little update. And yeah, the mantelpiece is back to how it was pretty much before with um, some tulips and some hyacinths on there that smell really good. And yeah, it's just nice to be home. I feel a little bit pooped after the shooting today and the traveling as well. Tomorrow, I've got an appointment at the barber's, which has been a while. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to getting my hair cut properly. Today, I put in a new volumizing root booster powder by VO5. I usually use the one from Got To Be, the Schwarzkopf one. They didn't have any at the Boots when I went to the Boots in the train station last night. Boots is a bit like our um, drugstore, if you're watching from the US. It's our kind of popular um, yeah, chemist shop or drugstore shop that sells all of those sorts of things. So anyway, I'm just waffling on now, but basically I've tried a new one and crikey does it boost the old roots. Look at the hair, it's gone really big. But yeah, tomorrow, um, we're going to give it a bit of a trim. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'll probably just go back to getting it a little bit shorter. It'll just be really nice to sit in the barber's chair and not have to make a mess at home and fill the bath up with all the <laughs> hair trimmings. And today, while I was filming, I just thought I'd tell you this quickly. They gave me this visor to pop on while we were doing some of the shooting because I had to wear a face covering and I kept forgetting that I was wearing it. So I went for my emergency banana and I kept smashing it into the visor and the amount of times that I just lifted my coffee cup up to the visor as well and just bashed it on it and hoped no one saw me but people saw me and just looked away slightly awkwardly so yeah that's the situation if any of you've got experience wearing one of those um please let me know if you've done the same so it's not just me make me feel better <laughs> but yeah quite good these aren't they i've not ever tried one before but um might be handy for when i'm doing some of my diys as well maybe when i'm doing <laughs> the old painting stop the splattering on the face but yeah i am literally just rabbiting on now and bending your ear off so i'm gonna call it a day but i'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow i'll probably take you down the barbers with me i don't know what else i'm doing tomorrow i've got a few meetings in the afternoon on the old zoom um but yeah we'll go for a little walk in the morning that'd be nice i might get a coffee while we're out how about that <laughs> i'll see you tomorrow Stop, turn off the lights Nauseous, when I wake up Don't quit I felt Good morning, it is Tuesday morning Can you hear all the birds singing? They've stopped now that I said that Don't be awkward Can you hear them? I know there's a noisy helicopter 
I should have waited, but I'm in a rush to get to the uh, barbers. I'm getting my hair cut this morning, so I've just washed it and left it um, just to dry naturally so that I don't get a line. Because if I put my cap on, I'll get a little line in the old hair, so we don't want that. And yeah, the plan is, after the barbers, I thought we'd have a look in some charity shops and maybe Poundland as well, because both of which are in the vicinity. So yeah, we'll do that. Might even do a bit of dumpster diving as well, because we're in that kind of neighbourhood where we might see some bits thrown out. So yeah, you've got the sun in your eyes, haven't you? Sorry about that. Right, I'm going to go and get my hair cut and we will go shopping afterwards. All done, if you want to spike it, because normally I style it a bit differently, but yeah, I'm pleased with that. It feels very fresh. And now we will go and have a look in Poundland.
There wasn't much going on in Poundland, not too much new stock, but there was quite a few empty shelves in there, so I think there might be a few bits coming into store. So I'll pop back soon and maybe we'll have a proper look around. I'll go to a bigger one and maybe we'll do a cheeky Poundland haul if I pick anything up. And then I went to the charity shops and it was nice to go and have a little browse in those. I wasn't really in the mood for buying, so I didn't pick up anything and I didn't do my rule of donating anything, so I couldn't buy anything anyway. <laughs> didn't take anything down there, so yeah. Nothing was purchased, but it was nice to see what they were like. They're all looking very tidy and there's lots of nice bits in there, but yeah, I didn't really see anything that I really wanted anyway. But what I'm thinking I might do is a proper come thrifting with me and we'll go and have a proper browse and maybe do several maybe we'll even do 10 in a day or five to ten we'll go around a few and yeah i might do that as like a completely separate video but it has turned out to be such a nice day today and all of this week is forecast sunshine which is nice it's still a little bit nippy but yeah very happy that the sun's out and I am home. Now, one thing that I've been doing while I had my little break is transferring my old VHSs, which has been a big old task. I've done most of them, but I also had some mini DV tapes. So they're the sort of ones that go into, oh, <laughs> that go into this bad boy, which used to be, not my vlogging camera because it was before the days that YouTube were invented, but I used to take this on trips and things like that with me and make videos and things like that. So I've got a few um, mini DV tapes to transfer. I was trying to do it myself by connecting up the cables, but for some reason the camcorder has decided that it doesn't want to play videos. It can still record and stuff, so yeah, didn't want to play them. So I couldn't do it myself, so what I've done is found a website and I'm going to send them off and I've put the remaining tapes that I've got into this box and you just fill out a form and put your reference number in there and these will get um, transferred onto a memory stick for me. So yeah, if I have any interesting footage, maybe I'll show you some of that <laughs> in a future vlog if it's anything that you might be interested in. But yeah, I just thought I'd share that because lots of us as part of our decluttering may have some VHSs or some old tapes lying around. So if you can't be bothered to do it at home, there is options to do it um, online. You can send things off basically. I know Snappy Snaps do it as well, but um, yeah, I just wanted to find one where you can post it off and yeah, have them sent back to your door or have the uh, memory stick sent back to your door. You can also opt to get them put onto DVDs too. So yeah, I'll link this one in the description box um, in case it is of interest to you. It's called Digital Converters, but there's loads of them online. So yeah, I'll let you know how I get on with that. And yeah, I've got some meetings this afternoon, so I'll probably call it a day on the vlog today, but I'll catch up with you tomorrow. And yeah, I'll probably show you the new bits that I picked up in the sale. I've got a few new um, clothing pieces and things like that. And also an eBay find as well that was a bargain, a one pound uh, top as well I want to show you too. So yeah, I will see you tomorrow. It is such a nice day today.
Good morning, it is Wednesday now. I've just been in a meeting with Miracle Grow on the old Zoom. It was nice to see Dainty Diaries on there as well. Um, so we've been finding out all about their new range. I'm going to be working with them again this year, which is very exciting. And they've got some new products coming out, which I will be looking forward to sharing with you very soon. We'll be doing a little bit out on the roof garden and I'll update you on all of that. And yeah, the plan for today, well, I've got a little bit of work to do at the desk this morning. And then I need to head down the high street later on to go to the post office. I've got another meeting this afternoon and I've got a video going up later as well. It's a bedroom makeover, so that will be up already. If you haven't seen it already, um, I've done a bit of a makeover on the other side of the bedroom that's kind of not behind the headboard, not the bedside, the other side, <laughs> that's usually behind the camera. So if you haven't watched that already, um, that will be up on the channel now if you fancy a little watch. And yeah, it's a lovely day again today. We've got sunshine all week this week, which is fab. The postman's just been, and I've got a package here from This Works. Are any of you familiar with this brand? I'm not too familiar with it, you know, but I know that they make some lovely products. So we've got here the Stress Check CBD Skin Booster. It says to use daily to help maintain skin resilience or when skin is dry and irritated for even for a more even complexion and day long comfort. Excuse my reading at the moment. So basically I got my eyes tested recently. I hadn't been for an eye test for, well it'd been over a year, which is probably quite naughty, isn't it? And I got them tested and they said that my eyes are changing. So now um, the distance, my eyes are getting better at. So they're switching basically, I think I'm just getting old. <laughs> so now my contact lenses are actually too strong for me. And for such a long time, I kept complaining that I couldn't read things properly. I kept saying to my producers at packed lunch, I can't see my cards. And they're probably thinking, what are you on about? You probably just need another coffee. And yeah, that's the reason why. So basically my contact lenses are now too strong. So I'm waiting for an updated one. But the words, it's quite, un yeah, they're just a little bit um, mumbo jumbo when I'm looking at things close up at the moment, so. Anyway, um, I digress, but don't forget to book your eye test in if you haven't done so um, recently. It's one of those things with the lockdown, isn't it, that we've all probably not got around to um, in a long time. Oh, this is nice. We have a deep sleep pillow spray. Let's give this a little sniff. I'm a big fan of a pillow spray. As you know, I love taking things like this on my travels to hotels and using them at home as well. Fall asleep faster naturally and wake up refreshed. That's a lovely one. Oh, that's got a real kick to it. That's not um, messing about. <laughs> you would only need actually a couple of blasts of that on the pillow. And I think you'll be out in no time. I probably shouldn't be sniffing it now as I've got <laughs> lots of work to do today. What else have we got in here? This is exciting. This is a travel diffuser. So it says a portable essential oil diffuser to scent your zone and create a sense of well-being naturally. How fab. I love the idea of this. This is right up my street. Let's have a little look. Okay, so it's in a little pouch. And amazing, look at that. So it's a little USB diffuser. We're quite dark over here in this corner, sorry about that. Um, yeah, it's got a little plug-in to get it going. So you can pop that on the laptop. And then we've got the deep sleep bath oil stress check mood manager so this is a motion activated aromatherapy spray to create a soothing and balanced atmosphere things like this are lovely aren't they i've been reading that people's stress levels are way up at the moment um there's some statistics that have come out recently and i think it's at it's stress awareness month april isn't it so yeah anyone feeling stressed at the moment um i think most of us probably are aren't we to varying degrees Oh, that's got a nice little boost. That's lovely. I'll keep that one in my uh, travel bag as well. It's be a nice one when I'm having one of my <laughs> mild panic attacks <laughs> before I go on air. <laughs> Give that a little blast and we'll be calm in no time. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I don't want to be spraying the sleep spray one though, do I? Before I go on air, I'll be nodding off. And then we've got the Stress Check Kind Hands. This is for overwashed hands because of course we've all been washing our hands loads, haven't we? So it says a soothing hand cream for dry overwashed hands. We've got the Morning Expert Wake Up Drops. So these are mint, herb and rosemary essential oils for morning motivation, and <laughs> which I always need. And then we've got the uh, Stress Check CBD Face Shield. 
So this one is hyaluric acid and CBD face mist for use under protective face masks. Interesting. Looking forward to trying all of these. These are the sort of products I love. I've talked to you about these before, haven't I, where I love things with essential oils in, quality products like that. Really looking forward to using these. And yeah, all really lovely, nice kind of self-care style products, aren't they? So yeah, I'll leave a little link to This Works um, in the description. And do feel free to have a little browse of their website if any of those have caught your eye. See the shelves over there? That's the little area that I try to not show you anymore. But that's, um, that's all the stuff from the loft that's still kind of in the process of being sorted. So yeah, anyway. Um, I've had another little delivery. This has come over from Aperol. They've sent over a couple of glasses and everything to make a Aperol spritz with. This will be perfect now we're getting some sunny days. I absolutely love an Aperol spritz. It's such a nice drink to enjoy outside. Yeah, even though we can't get away at the moment, we can pretend that we're on a holiday with a glass of this out in the sunshine. And let me show you the new bits that I picked up from the sales. I didn't go crazy, but I did pick up this shirt from Top Man. I think I got this on ASOS, if I remember correctly. They have a Top Man um, section on there. And this one was 19 99 I think this was 14 99 in the sale. Just a really nice check design, sort of burnt orange. And yeah, I thought that'd be quite a nice one to wear as we're going into the summer. You can just sort of layer that up, can't you? And I also picked up this from River Islands. This is quite an unusual piece. It's in the silky fabric and it's zip up. But I thought this would be quite nice to wear for an evening, so if you're going out, that sort of thing. It was £45, and it was down to a really bargain price of, I think it was like around £15 or something. I generally get tops like this in a size medium, or sometimes I'll go up to a size large, um, just depending really. This is the sort of thing that I would love to wear on holiday on a warm evening. I just think it's fab, and it's kind of like a little bit statement, but then because it's black and white... It's not too much, is it? So I get a lot of wear out of that still, I reckon. I'll probably just wear it with some, probably just some black jeans, I think, and maybe some nice boots. I'm not sure, we'll see, but yeah, I thought that was really cool. And then this is my eBay bargain. So I do recommend that you have a look on eBay and just search for the things that you like. So I love wearing shirts or shirt jackets like this. As you can see, <laughs> I've got loads of them. I just find them really comfortable and practical to wear. So I really love these sort of um, tops and I found this one by Topman, got it in a size large and this one was only one pound. So with the delivery, I think that was like three pounds 95. I got this for under a fiver, which is so good. And I love these sort of um, really simple, neutral kind of beigey tones as well. I'm thinking this will go really nicely for the summer as well, almost to wear it as a jacket, just as like a layer um but also you could wear it of course as a shirt under a jacket if you wanted to but it is quite nice thick fabric so this is my absolute bargain and i recommend that you have a look on ebay and just search the things that you wear because you never know what you'll find on there so before you buy it brand new even if it is in the sale it's well worth having a look and sometimes as well if things have sold out and you had your eye on them you might find them on ebay a few months later so it's always worth um, keep checking on there and then also from River Island I bought this jumper which you've already seen um, this one I think again was around the £15 mark so yeah just quite nice simple um, design with the sleeve detail on that one and then I also picked up from ASOS some of their ASOS design simple t-shirts so you get five Whoa! <laughs> oh no the fragrance nearly copped it. Um, so sorry, as I was saying, you get five in a pack and I think it was 25 pounds, I think. It might have been 30, I'm not sure, but they're really nice t-shirts. I like the fact that they've got quite a decent neck on them. And these are just nice to layer up under shirts and I went for a size medium on those. And then also from ASOS, I picked up these sandals. I feel like these will probably divide opinion. They are this rope design, really simple. And then, yeah, they've just got this rope design. They look a lot better when they're on actually, but yeah, I just thought they looked quite cool, really nice and simple. And I've tried them on and they are so comfortable and lightweight as well. So again, I'm thinking if I do get away anywhere for holiday, nice kind of nautical vibes with these. And I thought they would go quite nicely. I'm thinking white shorts, probably like denim shorts, that sort of thing, this shirt. 
I think it would be a vibe. So yeah, that's all my new stuff. It's a little bit later on and I have decided to go and sort my glasses out. I just rang Specsavers and they said that I could just pop into store today. I thought you might need an appointment, but to choose glasses if you are a member of like the lens mail contact lens thing, um, they said you can just pop in store and I've asked them if it's busy and if it's nice and quiet at the moment. So I've got a bit of time before my meeting this afternoon. So I'm gonna pop down there now, get some glasses tried on and order a new pair because they can take up to 10 days. And yeah, I really need to get this sorted because it's starting to give me like mild headaches and stuff. So yeah, that's the plan now. So we'll head out and go and do that. And I'll post my parcel as well. Savers, but I'm going to pop into Poundland now because the big one's here and it'd be rude not to. new contact lenses are now in and yeah things are feeling a bit better i'm feeling slightly less headachey and nauseous so hopefully these new ones will have sorted me out and then i just had a little look in poundland some nice bits in as you will have just seen and i heard them saying they're getting a new delivery at 4 p.m today so i might pop back later in the week and if i pick up any good stuff We'll do a little Poundland haul soon. I also swung by Greg's to get myself a little coffee and a baguette and a sausage roll. <laughs> so I'm gonna go home and have those and I've got a meeting shortly. So yeah, lunch and then meeting. And I don't know if I'll see you this afternoon. I'm gonna just crack on with some work. So I might just catch up with you tomorrow. Thursday. I've been out for a run this morning and I came back and I've just been sorting stuff out because I've been in a bit of a mission because I'm off to Cardiff this afternoon. So I've just been packing my case. I've got my options to wear in here. I've got a few different layers because we're going to be outdoors and then all my toiletries and stuff. And the taxi should be here in about five minutes. So yeah, I just haven't had a chance to pick up the camera this morning, but I went out for a run this morning, which I got a couple of shots off, which was very nice. I did 5k. And um, yeah, I'm just trying to make the effort to do a few more runs at the moment. Better um, get this lot sorted and we'll go and get the taxi. I don't want to seize all the things that we have done tonight. It's a mystery that we never took a chance before. 
I've just made it to the Welcome train. Oh, this classic. <laughs> this always happens. The minute I start speaking on the train, you can guarantee the announcements will start. But yeah, I've just got to the station. A lot of the food places at Paddington we'll are closed. We'll be at Reading, Swindon, Bristol Parkway, Newport, Cardiff Central, Bridgend, or Talbot Parkway, Neath, and Swansea. So yeah, a lot of the places were closed to eat. So I managed to just grab a quick coffee, but I've got no food and I'm so hungry, but I've got some almonds in my bag. I'm hoping there might be some food on the train, but if not, we'll get something when we get to Cardiff. I'm gonna crack on with editing this vlog for the journey and yeah, I'll probably see you when we're in Cardiff. Cardiff. I've just checked in. This is the hotel that I'm staying in. It's a Premier Inn. I've just hung my clothes up for tomorrow, although I'm not sure what I'm going to wear. I might wear this jacket actually because I think it might be quite nippy tomorrow. And we are just near the high street. So this street here leads down to the main sort of shopping street. So what I'm going to do now is go and have a little browse and I'm going to film a separate come shopping with me vlog. That will be coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Do click subscribe if you're new here for weekly videos and put the notification bell on as well so you won't miss it when I upload that one. But yeah, I'm gonna head to the shops. Primark's open till 8 p.m. There's also a flying tiger here, which I'm very keen to have a little look in. And then I'll probably just get some dinner and get an early night and head to bed, I think. But yeah, excited to go and have a little browse around Cardiff. It's been a while since I've been here, but you may remember if you were here last year, I was doing some work in Cardiff last year as well. So yeah, I'm very familiar with the town centre and everyone here is so friendly. So it's nice to be back, um, albeit for a very short trip. I can see some seagulls outside as well, which is always a very familiar sight in Cardiff too, with the bay um, just being a couple of miles away from the town centre. So anyway, I'm off to the shops. Um, I've got about hour and a half of shopping time, so I'm sure we'll have time for a good old browse. And yeah, looking forward to getting some dinner after that. I'm thinking it will be a takeaway. They do good chips with cheese and gravy here in Cardiff. That could be an option. Back at the hotel room, that was good. I went to Tiger first because Primark had a queue outside it and Tiger had some fab stuff in it. I've shared a few um, things I spied on Instagram already. So if you want a sneak peek, head over to Mr. Carrington home. And then the video where I vlogged everything in store will be coming for you very soon. And then in Primark, oh wow, <laughs> the homeware. Honestly, the menswear wasn't so much going on. I didn't even vlog any of it or take any snaps of anything in there because I didn't really see any new clothes. It was quite a small menswear department at the one here in Cardiff, but the homeware, oh my days, there were so many things that were very up my street, very just good, really good. And so I vlogged all of those. I've also snapped a few as well. They're also over on Mr. Carrington Home on Instagram. But I think a lot of you will like the sort of things they've got in store. They had some really nice stuff. They're going very kind of H&M home vibes in Primark. It's quite interesting seeing how they're adapting their style a little bit. Some lovely bits in there. But yeah, that video will be coming soon. So do stay tuned. And now I'm gonna order some dinner. I've just had a little look on my phone for, um email discount codes and I found one with Uber Eats. They've emailed me 25% off. So I'm gonna go with them tonight and see what's available on there. And the sun is starting to set. It's 7.30 now. And yeah, the sun is starting to go down. It's Thursday evening. I'm not sure what's on TV on a Thursday evening. I don't think there's anything that I'm kind of wanting to tune into. Nothing like the line of duty or anything like that that I've been watching every week. I've also been enjoying the syndicate as well. I watched that on Tuesday evening. But yeah, Thursday nights, I'm not so sure. Um, but anyway, the TV here is tiny anyway. Look how small it is. Where are you? As you can see. So yeah, I might um, pop some good old YouTube on <laughs> instead. And yeah, I'm gonna get an early night. I might have a bath as well because there is a little bath in here. It's been a while since I went into a hotel that had a bath in it, I can tell you. Must have been, 
I think probably a year actually because the hotel in Leeds doesn't have any baths in it so yeah it has been a while since I've had a hotel bath so I look forward to that as well later but I'm going to order some dinner now. Wait for the wind, wait for the night Stand here a while, take a little time Food has just arrived, it's nearly half past eight and I am ravenous. I've only had a few almonds um, since, I don't know what time it was, but yeah, doing Primark and Flying Tiger on a few almonds isn't a vibe, so I am looking forward to tucking into this. I've gone for Taco Bell and I've got here, it's called their Quesadilla um, Cravings Box. I'm probably saying that wrong. So yeah, I'm gonna dive in to this lot and I think uh, Dragon's Den is on the TV, so yeah, that's Ello. You see me in the mirror. <laughs> so I'm gonna watch that as well. And I'm gonna call it a night. Good morning, it is Friday and it's 8 a.m. I've been popped out to get some breakfast because the hotel doesn't do any. Just by the Greg's back there. <laughs> but we'll resist that, there's a prep around the corner. Um, I'm gonna go and get some porridge, I think, and a coffee, and then make my way back to get ready. But yeah, I just fancied going out for a walk this morning, so it's a lovely day. I'm not due with the team until 10 o'clock, so yeah, I'm gonna find something to nibble on before we get cracking. And yeah, hopefully we'll have a nice day here in Cardiff today. Look at the weather. Nice blue sky, it's still chilly. But yeah, I'm pleased that um, it's not a rainy day today. So yeah, we're going to prep and get coffee. I didn't have any porridge at prep, so I got a bacon and egg roll instead, and a flat white, and I picked up one of these little ginger shots, which are extortionate. <laughs> they are um, ginger and apple. Cold pressed juice, ginger shot, ginger and apple. So yeah, that sort me out. I'm wearing this roll neck again, because I just thought it's probably gonna be the warmest option, and I'm gonna wear probably that um, green jacket over the top. But I'm gonna bring my big coat with me just in case as well. Just sorted myself out. Hopefully you look all right. Okay, I'm gonna go off and meet the team now. So I won't take my vlogging camera with me. I might try and grab a bit on my phone or insert some footage or something like that. So I will see you after the show. Somebody out there wanted to be on the vlog. Hello, Mr. Seagull. What are you doing? Footfall in the St. David Centre has actually tripled since the non-essential shops have opened, Steph. And I found more shoppers. We're going to go rummaging in their bags now. What's the plan for the rest of the afternoon? Probably drink it. Yeah, oh, I like your style. Well, I can't go and enjoy your drink set. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to like this. A little throwback to the 80s or the 90s. We had this swing ball. What are we saying? This is £14.99. And we're all done. It is just coming up to 25 past two. I've come back to the hotel to pack up now. And I'm going to jump on a train at, I think it's just after three, about quarter past three. So I've got a prawn sandwich in my bag that the production team very kindly bought for me. But I've squirreled it away because I didn't fancy eating it before going live. And yeah, I'm going to pack up the room now and we'll get out of here. But yeah, the show went well, I think. It felt a little bit like, ah! <laughs> that was the mood, um, but I think it went all right. Yeah, time to head back to London. It's a beautiful day still in Cardiff today and there were lots of people out and about enjoying themselves, shopping and a few people heading out to the outdoor spaces in the uh, pubs and restaurants here as well. So that's really nice to see. But yeah, I'm gonna get sorted. The morning has literally just flown by. It always goes really quickly. And it's Friday, which is very exciting. So that means it's nearly the weekend. So I hope you've had a nice weekend so far, whatever you're up to. Let me know in the comments. The prawn sandwich wasn't gonna do it for me. So I bought some additions. I popped into Tesco and they've got a really good uh, meal deal offer on at the moment. I got this lot for three pounds, which I thought was very good value. We've got some sushi here. We've got some olives and a double shot espresso by Starbucks. They had really good options. Usually you just get like a sandwich and crisps, don't you? With those supermarket deals. So yeah, good options at Tesco's at the moment.
I've just made it back to London. I'm back home and I have come back to a parcel from Cherries, who I put a cheeky order in with. I have worked with Cherries before, but this isn't sponsored, but I just wanted to pick up a couple of bits from them, including the fake tan that I really like. This month they're doing next day delivery for the price of standard delivery as well, but I think my discount code is still um, valid. So if you're new to Cherries, I will put that in the description box for you because you'll get 20% off your first order with them. But let's get inside and just see what's arrived. Well, there's a nice tissue in here. I will save that. And they also wrap everything in brown paper, which is always handy. And I usually save that as well, because it's quite good if you're doing any DIYs or if you want to wrap up any bits, if you're selling anything on eBay, that sort of thing. Always really handy. So to bulk out the order, basically what I was looking for was the fake tan because the fake tan that I've been using from Cherries is, I think it's three pounds on Cherries, which is a brilliant price for it. I had a look around online elsewhere and they were all coming up around the 10 pound mark, that sort of thing. I looked in Boots, Superdrug, and it was all a little bit more expensive. So it's a minimum order of 10 pounds with Cherries. So I figured I might as well just spend a 10 on some other bits that I'm going to use and get my fake tan at the same time. So that's what I did. So I picked up two lots a blue roll because essentials and all that so i've just gone for the inspirations triple soft three ply aloe vera so i've got two of those and then i also picked up this domestos zero lime scale toilet cleaner now this is a good one if you get a lot of lime scale in your toilet which we do here being in london sometimes it can just really build up so it's a good one to blitz that way i try not to use it too often but every now and then when you want to get a really good descale it's good for that and then i picked up two of the fake tans to make up the 10 pounds so i got the san moritz this is the instant tanning mousse in the medium so i've just got through the last bottles it's lasted me quite a while but i don't use it i probably use it like once or twice a week it smells quite nice it smells just kind of soapy and yeah for three pounds for this size, which is a 200 mil, I think it is a really good price. So yeah, I hope I'm in focus okay. I think the cushion was in focus, but yeah, hopefully <laughs> hopefully you managed to see all of that all right. But yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here, I think. The weekend is starting, and this will be live for you on Sunday. So if you are watching this on Sunday morning, I hope you've had a lovely weekend, and I hope you have a good week ahead as well. I'll be back soon with another video. The next one to go live will be the Come Shopping With Me, I think. That will be coming soon. I might be going down to one video per week for a little bit, just because it's quite busy at the moment. So I'll definitely be doing my Sunday uploads, but I might have to skip the odd Wednesday. But if I feel like a naughty shorty, I'll be sure to post it. So make sure you do subscribe if you are new or if you haven't done so already, if you haven't got round to it yet and hit the notification bell as well. And that way you will never miss a video. But if you enjoyed this one, do give it a little thumbs up. You can always catch me over on Instagram. It's Mr. Carrington or Mr. Carrington Home. And yeah, I hope you have a lovely week ahead. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.